Hey. <laughs> hey, Andrew Bepler is me. Let's talk about fire. <laughs> I'm gonna here. Welcome to the fire tutorial. I did some uh, lightning, and now I'm gonna do some fire. I'm gonna do it right in front of your eyes, and I'm just gonna do it in a single color. And it's your basics fire, fire 101, uh, fire 102 coming soon. <laughs> Let me uh, crank that background to be darker, and then here. Let me get a source for my fire so that I know where it's gonna be. That's good. That's a good source spot. Uh, usually, sources are circular, or maybe an oval, like on a torch, or cube. You know what? Your source is not usually circular. Your source shape doesn't matter because it's the fire around it. Um, um, um. That's a bad color. Fire. Well, it's orange. Sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes it's green. Who knows? Depends on what it's burning. But most fire burns fuel. Normal fuel. And it burns yellowish oranges. And wood. Wood burns yellow, too. So I'm going to use that. Here we got our orange color. Is that right? That looks good to me. Whatever, we can change the color after the fact if we want. So, I'm gonna do a three flick, a little, uh, a, th a one, a one, two, three flick. Well, actually, it's, it's just a choo choo. So, three of them. And then that'll give you a basic idea of, you know, you know, how to get the hang of the fire, how to get in the zone. So I want to kick it off with the first frame. Get that onion skin on. You're going to need it. And where is the first flick starting? Left, right, left, right. I guess right. It's starting on the right. So that means it's doing that. So let me just draw this in. So here's how I'm shaping my fire. You, you know the waving motion. I put out a video called the waving motion. You have a leader and you have a follower and then another leader in this case I mean another follower in this case the leader is kinda this whole section right there and that's gonna you know move left and right and then the followers are here and here and then you have kind of a joint and a joint you know ish like this is kinda the joint but also that's kinda the follower so it's wishy-washy with fire it's kinda hard to define where it begins and ends and then also um, the heat like this the source of the fire comes from the bottom because fire goes up always because fire is it's hot and it's light heat rises I don't know just don't don't question it it just happens so there's gonna be, I'm gonna make little bumps right here at the bottom and slowly as the fire goes on, those bumps are going to work their way up to the top. So like a little indent like that. And maybe there's already one that's halfway up by the time it starts. You know, clearly this fire has been going for at least a few seconds. So he's already got his groove on. And then here's the flame. So there. This is probably a fire that's like, um, it's bigger than a candle flame. I don't know, it's like eight inches ap across. It's short. It's very short, actually, now that I look at it here. Let me make it a bit taller to sell it. Sell it like a product. There. That looks, well, I mean, it looks better. It'll get better as I go along. So, the first flick is gonna go that way. I mean, it's kinda gonna go that way, but it's already mid-flick, so we're not gonna count this as any of the one, two, three. This is like a half one, two, three. So, 
like I was saying, these little bumps are going to make their way up. So it starts here, now it's here, next it'll be there, and it's just going up the circle. Um, because fire goes up, and it's going to make its way around. And then here, you might start to see the formation of a new little indent. I'm going to get a smaller brush for fire. And then here, I'm drawing that indent right there now. Making his, he's moving up in the world, like that. And then there's another one kind of, like that little thing becomes that. That's an out dent. You know, there's those two. And then, so the overarching path, right, right, okay. In your flame, you have to keep in mind uh, a couple things. One being all of these little, you know, ruffles in the fire. And then also your main flame's motion. You know, your waving motion like that. Um, so, like, each are going to play off one another. I like to sometimes animate just the top part and then go back and fill in the bottom for flames like this, where there's only one main flame and there might be a couple little stragglers. So, like, here, see what I just did there? Um, I'm putting this guy bigger now, for whatever reason. It's getting close to the top, so it's going to get amplified. Um, and now, like you know with your waving motion, right now, everything is off to the side with the leader. Next, the leader is going to start going to the other side. So, this edge of the fire is going to start to come inward while the top still follows through with this motion. Like that. Not that much, per se. That much is good to me. Oh, no. Yeah. So, for some reason, that is coming out this way. Why is that? Well, take a look, take a look. See this um, piece here? I have decided to make it um, go in. Because maybe, whatever. Maybe there's some, I don't know, there's more fuel right here, so the fire is burning inwards, and there's less fuel right here, so it's not burning right there. Just, there's probably a reason, but when you animate it, you don't have to quite worry about that. You, you gotta worry about what happens next. So, this was here, then it was here, now, it's probably gonna do something like that. So, like, I don't know. That's going to get big. But this thing was starting to move outward. So, there we go. Because, um, there's, there's a bunch right here. Uh, there's a bunch of, of fire. And when this moves inward, I was trying to explain this a second ago. When it moves inward like this, all the stuff that was here has to go somewhere. And it's not going to go into the big body. It's going to go to the place where nothing is, you know, the least resistant um, path. So some is going to start to get forced outward. And then you might get, start getting a little flame within a flame. Anyway, um, let's look back at this big guy. What's happening next with this outside bit? Well, just like before, this side of the fire is going to keep going in. Let me thin this out. It might be easier to tell what's happening. Yeah. And then the outside is going to go up like a half flick always does and then this is just gonna stretch with it great okay so now this is the tip of the leader right in here this little um, spot and it's gonna be going that way because it's just that's our first flick so let me animate it um, here we go. This is going to uh, break off over here. And then you start to see the bulge of the new one. But what is happening with uh, this whole thing? You know that thing that we were working on? This piece? <laughs> that absence? Well, it looks like it's starting to go up into there, I suppose. The only place it can go. And it's not doing this, it's doing that, because 
uh, it's getting forces pushed back on it from the inside. So it was going left, and then left, and then it tried to go left again, but there was so much fire here that it can't keep going left, so it's just going to start to get pushed right. And it's going to become the new flame right now. What is this? Oh, it's the beginning of flame number two. We're on one. Um, it's stopping from going right, and it's starting to go back to the left. Here we go. We're going to get this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Roll with it. A little bit more fire here. Took a bit of, too much off. Okay. Here's flick number one. You ready? Bam. No, no. Yeah, that's good. And then, you know, a little piece is going to break off. Alright, so let's follow this guy. He's here, and then he's here. Now he's here. Where is he next? He's out here. He has to be. So that's where that'll go. And then I'll animate this particle later. Uh, but don't worry about it now. We're just focusing on the flicks. Getting them all finished. Next. Um, let's work on the bottom for a bit. So these are kind of spreading apart, this bump here and that one there. So let's just work on those guys, like that, and then that, and then maybe a new bump starts to form in between where they left off, like that, and then that, and then this, oh yeah. And I'm going to say that this bump is going to be going that way. So I'll start to ease it into that direction. Now, not that large, not yet. Too dramatic, too fast. Keep it subtle with your fire. Um, so you see how I'm changing the shape of these over time? Like it starts off just a neutral bump, and then the bump starts to get kind of a, a favor towards that side as it's kind of like doing that see and then here it kind of does it even more like that I don't know maybe the top of the fire is moving upward more quickly than, than the bottom or I mean vice versa the bottom is moving up more quickly than the top so it, the little indent can't quite keep up and here you know it's doing that as well uh, perhaps even more like that. Yeah. And then it might even, like, get engulfed, the indent. Like, it might come to the point where it can't keep up fast enough, and it starts to just become, uh, encased in fire. Like, this one's going to happen immediately, where it gets encased, this little new thing I was making. And then, here, okay, let's make a new indent right here. We don't have enough on the right. We got two, I mean, enough on the left. We got two on the right. So now, maybe like that. No, not like that. Like that. Yep. All right, that's enough work on the bottom right now. Let's get away from that <laughs> here. Fire. The true fire. Not even a practice anymore. Ah, oh, I left my arrows in. Arrows are not good for the final product. They're good for tutorials, though. Okay, that's the flick. And now we're going back. No, wait, this breaks off. Nope. 
Uh, I don't like that at all. Sorry, I just tried to do it without talking. If I talk about it, you know, I'll do a better job. So, what's gonna happen next? Um, this piece right here. Well, it has to. The new flick has to go that way. So, perhaps it'll start to do this, and then it'll do this, and then this side will start to come back in, and then that's the final height of the flick, and then that's where it breaks, like that. And then this piece goes down. No. Where was it? That's right there. Okay. Yeah, so then this is going to go down and then start to reverse like that. And then it'll kind of be a rolling thing and this is the this is the death of the flame. So it's given its all to it. Like that and then it's going to keep moving to the right, go up. And then the final frame before detaching no, it's too. That's. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then. Let's see. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. It's not moving to the. It's not moving up enough. Yeah, there, that's... Well, that's kind of better. Hey, you know what? It's fine. So we have our... We have our flame base. Good. Done. So it's, it's basically just the waving motion. All over the place. You know, like... Uh, the leader is always whatever that part is. So right now... It, I mean, it looks like the leader is going that way, and now it's going that way, and now it's going that way, and everything just follow it, follows it. So, the first inception of the left move. See, right now, it was going to the right, because of the way that it curves. And now, it's starting to go to the left. And then that left motion is going to move to the right, with each part of the flame. It just every part starts to move, I mean to the left, god I'm messing my things up when I draw this direction on my screen and I say right I mean left I don't mean right <laughs> oh my goodness but just see how all of that lefterly motion moves up the flame as it goes along that's the waving motion it's it's a it's a piece of hair in the wind. You know? It's... I don't know. It's... It's when you're... Swinging something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. And that's all done. Let's do the bottom. Let's do some more of that stuff. Now... Um... Let's do something more interesting. Like, we've done a bunch of these. And I'm going to animate this little enclosure up to nothing. Because once I fill this in, this will just be an empty circle. So, like, that's good. And then this, same thing. Just turn into nothing. But this one, that'll keep its shape until it's at the top. Um, next, let's do, like, a, a waving motion underneath. So, here. We'll start it like that. Not like that. We'll start it here. I'm missing that piece. I forgot about it. I just didn't even draw it. There, that's good. So let's draw some of this. And then... Some of that. And then, here. i got to finish off this little piece right there. See what I'm doing here? Blip, 
blam. That'll turn into... Well, that'll go all the way through the flame, in fact. And then I'll work on that later when I'm at the top parts. But, see, we did a little waving bit there. Like, here's that leader. And there he is leading. Here, and then this will be the, the absence moving on in the flame. Okay, so what happened to this thing? It kind of just didn't get glorified. And that's fine too, sometimes they don't. Okay, there, it'll, it'll go. Is that too drastic? It looks a little too drastic. I'm gonna undo that, I'm gonna redraw it. Um, I'm gonna draw it like this, and then, yeah, that's better. And then that's too drastic, so maybe like that, and then that'll get enclosed. And then this little indent is gonna move up, and then this absence will go down, and then maybe get covered up by a flame that's in front of it, right there, and then you don't even have to finish. Okay. Good, good. Next. All right, it's getting near the halfway point with the bottom stuff. So let's do a few more indents. Here's, uh, here's this one right there. And if you're doing a fire loop, where it's like a torch that you have to have it keep being fire, then you would just kind of follow these same principles, except um, you would make the first frame line up with the last frame, as if it was happening before it, which is really difficult. I think I'm going to do a whole video on that. Okay, that's good. And then, how about this guy? We'll really turn into something. Something good. He's going to start pushing fire out the way to where, you know, he becomes somebody who's ready to make his own little flick. Nope, not like that. But like, ooh. Um. But like. That. Here, right about there. Yeah, and then this is in the wrong spot entirely. It's more like there. See? Now, this little piece that was just the wall of the flame has now gotten its own little fleck in there. Yeah. And then let's make a little bump right there. Now by the time this bump gets to the top, um one sec. Okay. By the time that this bump makes it all the way to the top, I want the flame to be dying. So He'll be his own flick as well. So like, it'll start off like that, and then 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 here we go. He's getting ready to follow through with it. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Because when the flame dies, um, everything goes wish wash and amplifies. Um, maybe something a little bit more like that there. And then this doesn't have to be so far. And then neither does this. Alrighty. So now we have a little baby flick over there, a little baby flick right there. And we'll do particles last. But other than that, it's looking pretty interesting. As far as I can tell. Good? Yeah. Alright. Lastly, let's do... Well, not lastly. Lastly for the body. Time to 
wrap some of these up. Here's a new one. And then as the flame is dying, you know, you, you'll start to see s the flame just sort of wrap around its source. Um, like this kind of, and get sucked up. Yeah. Why not? Why the heck not? Here, and then this piece will kind of just be a strenuous little line as the rest of it gets um, pulled up from lack of fuel. And... Uh, yeah. Alright, now for the top bits. Uh, starting wherever I stopped, right here. Okay, so what was happening? This time, you gotta go back. Oh God. It's your kids, Marty. What's happening here? Um, that looks fine to me. <gasps> Why am I drawing it like this? Well, this guy is now a little flick of, a, of his own. He's a little leader and a follower. Um, this wall is going that way, and it's it's leading and it's following. Man, everything is going off. Check it out, check it out. Take a look. See, it's turning from this to that to that. So it's going to have to go somewhere, and then eventually it's going to start to do that. Like, it's bam, 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 and then it'll be bam. Or, no, I'm sorry. It'll be like that. No, it won't. What the what heck? Yeah, that's good. And then it'll go in and go up. And then turn into nothing. Great. Good to me. So now we do the outside part of it just like that and then that'll become a particle I'm okay with it next is do this side top put top bits um, that little piece didn't really have a conclusion. Someone give it one where it goes inside and then it just becomes covered up by whatever. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I've saved. Now, uh, this piece right there. What's gonna happen to him? I was just gonna move up, you know, like everything else. And then that side needs more work right here. Oh, fire. You're so needy. You always need to be drawn. Ugh. So tired of this. No, I love it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making these videos. There. This piece is going to get brought up. I'm talking about... I guess I'm talking about that. And then that. And then... That? Yeah not high enough in that third frame there now it's going to turn into that and then this will be a little bit larger and that'll be more like that kind of rotating as it goes and then turning into something like that and then getting out of the way so that um, that thing that flicks can do its flick here, maybe this got ripped inward as this got ripped outward. Yeah. Okay, particles last, Andrew. I want to do these particles, so I see them and I leave them and I got to I got to ignore them. I got to talk about the body of it all. Which looks really strange on this frame. But it won't matter because there'll be particles everywhere. Okay. It's looking all right. Yeah. Um, 
let me just think about this. That part. I have to work on that part. Okay, so what's going on over here? We, it looks like um, that broke off. That's pushing up. It's not pushing up fast enough, that's for sure. That's better. And then it's it's got to go up. Is that right? No, that's not. Ugh. That's my flip. Why am I drawing it all strange? There. So that'll get brought down here. And then that piece. I'm talking about that and that and that. Um, it's moving to the right over time, and then there it is there. That's why I drew it right there in this one. Because, you know, it's just flowing with the fire. It's going around the clockwise direction. And now this piece might even start to, like... I mean, I don't even know. I guess it's kind of like this. It's just... Where's the source? It's just holding on to the source right here, and then it's um, getting brought into the air right there. So I'm not feeling yet. <laughs> I'm not feeling. I can't. I don't have time. Okay, then this bit is going to go fly down faster than that. Like that fast. And then turn into a particle. Okay. Just almost done. So done. So close. Here we go. This bit. That's going to be its own little thing, which will slowly turn into something like that. Uh, more like that. And then it'll cross uh, in front of this other flame here and then turn into its own particle and then this one oh look at that a new flick has joined the fight challenger uh, appeared uh... not that big now why why did that happen uh... well why it happened that fast is a better question just cause i mean at the top there's flames all over the place they don't always need an explanation man See, because, you know, there was just something right here. I figured it'll turn into something. Why not? Wait, no. I'm, I missed a frame. This piece has to turn into something. It'll turn into that. And then that will go and go up. But this guy? I mean, if there's flamage, why not turn it into something? And then just do your waving motion. I mean, fire's hot and it goes up. It, it truly, honestly, it doesn't... Oh, it's just like lightning. It's so... As long as you get the idea that it goes upwards, it's just that principle. All the fire has to keep going up, and it'll always look good. Well, not all fire has to go up. That's a bad description. Um, flames go up. But, like, fire can go down. I mean, if the fuel is going down. Like, you know, you pour gasoline out and light it on fire. Well, the fire is going to go down with the gasoline. But the flames, when they fall off, will go upwards. Okay, and then that goes like that. And then... That. No, no, no. Sometimes the first stroke is just thick enough. Fine there. And then... Fine there. And fine there. Yeah! 
Hey, quick, quick little minute of the video. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> you made it two thirds. Heck, I don't know how far we are. Quick, uh, look down. Where is it? Where's the scrubber? Is it over here? Is it over here? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's down here. I don't even know how close I am to finishing. I still gotta do particles, so it's probably like there. No. That is exactly where it is, right there. Jeez, I just had it. That's crazy. Okay, so now I'm almost done with the body. Just gotta fill in my gaps, and then I can fill in my fill. There, alright, we're done. That's, I'm gonna call it. Wait. This should not be on. Oh, missed one. Alright, what's supposed to happen here? Um... Uh... Yeah, that was... Alright. Is that good? Alrighty, time to fill. When you fill, make sure you don't fill in those little center circles that are supposed to be absences. All these, keep an eye on those. They should stay closed if that's how you drew them. And you should be all set. Oh, I did miss one. So yeah, this is fire, it's coming along, hopefully, hopefully I'm not being too confusing, I'm kind of just saying this goes here and that goes there because of this, I don't know how else to explain it, um, after you do enough of it, you'll, you'll understand, I hope, well maybe you won't understand, but you'll be good at it, okay, yeah. Okay, now we can get rid of our guide. Don't even need it anymore. It's all about the fire now. It's all about these particles. Starting with the onion skin being on. This one. The most complex one first. Uh, I realized I drew that wrong just now. In fact, it should be more like that. There. And then here's that base of it. And then here's this. It's kind of spinning like this direction. So the flame part is going to be like that. And then this little hook at the bottom is going to be over there now. And that is hollow. And then it's kind of over here. And it's just going towards getting to a point where it's round. And anything that falls off, I'll do little dots for particles later. It turns into this sort of crescent. It's still spinning overall. And then... It'll turn into a circle and be going up. Not bad for the first particle. Next, the uh, the fall off. Anytime anything whips, there's little dots all over the place. Like right there, there's one. And then it'll start to go up. Yep. And then next, this guy. Why not? Just pick one and do it. Gotta put the work in. He's spinning, so he's doing that. But he's also going up, you know, exponentially. As I do these particles, pay attention um, to the spacing at the bottom as compared to the spacing at the top. Uh, it's further apart as it starts to go up faster. Like when you see sparks fly out of a campfire, they shoot out the sides and then they go up really fast. Um, or if they just come right out the top, then they're kind of going a constant speed the whole time. You know, maybe as they get higher up, they start to go faster. Because when they're down here, they are bigger and then they burn stuff away. And then it's easier for them to go up more quickly once they're littler. Because they don't have enough um, stuff weighing them down. You know? Yeah. Alright, there's one right there. And 
and that'll go. And there's one here I've done. Alright, let's just have some shooting out where these gaps happen. So like each time a gap forms, I'm going to make a little particle shoot out. And then start to go up. Like right there. And then there, and then there. And then you don't see it until there again, and then it's up and out of frame. Next, uh, there's a gap. I don't know why. I just, you know, put a particle there. It doesn't even have to be where the gaps are, hey. There's no gap here, but hey, there's a particle. It could have come from a spot in the center where you don't even know if there's a gap, you know, because it's it's uh, three-dimensional, in quotes. Living that air quotes 3D life. There's definitely one there getting flung out and maybe even slowing down a little bit as it goes through the air. And then there's one there. And then there's probably one here. So much fire gets moved. All right, we're getting a little consistent with our particle sizes. I'm going to zoom in and go one notch up to get just a little bit of variety and fill that in. And I think that's supposed to be filled, but not that. Yeah, same with that one. So now, right um, there. I'm going to put one, and then right there. I'll make one be spinning. And then there, and then there, and then, yeah. Oh, these particles. Now for some big particles. Okay, so let's do that. Good. And then that one. We never saw the conclusion of that. Fire is just a bunch of particles. That's it's all it even is. When they're all together and moving in one big piece, it's just a big collection of particles. And I recommend doing some flicks like this if you want to get better. Look at that, I fixed my control selection thing from the lightning tutorial to now. Because it was all whack. I mean, it was just terrible. It would duplicate any time that I was on brush tool, and well, any tool, and then I held um, control to get to my selection. For whatever reason, just make another copy of whatever I was holding. <sighs> Running out of frames. You know, this is Flash 8. <laughs> Particles are easy. It's the determination that's hard. You just gotta sit down and do them. And you don't have to do particles like this. Hey, you can make some spirally particles if you want. Like say when uh, this piece dies, some shot out and then went up with it. Like that. Why not? Why the heck not? I don't see why not. And then when that whipped out, maybe some did some of that. Ooh, I'm out of frames again. I'm just going to make like a thousand. So I never run out. You can do that. You can make particles that do that. Like here, one is shooting out. And then going up. And it's gone. Oh, that guy. What is that about? I don't know. It was nonsense. Alright, let's do uh, this piece. And then let me go with that one yep and I never finished this so I'm gonna finish it now and how about that's not right how about that makes more sense uh -huh. 
you ever get your spacing wrong, fix it, because it's very noticeable when a particle is flying up at a certain distance, and then suddenly it only moves half as much as it had been. Keep your distances um, to some sort of consistent spacing that either gets larger over time or stays the same. Or gets smaller if it's going down. And same with your rotation. Try to keep um, even rotation values. So if it's, if it's rotating, you know, 35 degrees every rotation, don't make it go 10 all of a sudden. You, know, you can go 30, you can go 40, don't go 10. You'd be a madman. That's good. All right, now for this thing. This little flick that turned out pretty nicely. That's done. That's done. I think someone's going to shoot out there, probably. This will be the final particle. Absolutely. Alright. And now... No, no, that's not right. So as this thing starts to rush up, I kind of like to fill the gap that it leaves with dots. Um, not everywhere, but a lot of places. Just to give it some implication that there wasn't zero fire there. I think I've done something wrong here. Um, so this piece here, it was there, and then it was there, and then I had it over here for some reason. It should be here. So I'm going to redraw it like that. That makes a lot more sense to me. And then it'll go up like that. And then just turn like you've been watching me. I can see how similar this is to the lightning video. A lot of animating, and not a lot of words. <laughs> because animating is just, it's a silent activity. But I hope I'm getting close to explaining at least half of the things I'm doing. There's a piece, and then that'll go out like that. And... I think more should get shot off of that bit. Alright, I'm just going to go investigate and see what is up. It's looking pretty good. Uh, so... Oh, there should be something here, for sure. Like that. Ooh, particling without onion skin. Living a dangerous life. Um, there should be one here. Okay, there should probably be one here. I like that. And... Oh, there. Well, sometimes it doesn't even matter, I guess. I'll, I like those spirally ones. I'm going to do, like, one more of those. Maybe it didn't even get a chance to go up. It died before it even went up. And... One there. Okay, so we got a bunch of little ones. Time to leave a few big ones behind that go out of frame fast, so you don't have to see them dissipate. Like right there. Okay, now like one there. That's good. Oh, that's not good. Okay. 
Animated with my hands. I'm gonna make the friends happy. It's gonna be fire, 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 fire. I'll do a, I'll do a shaded fire tutorial. Uh, in 2015, you know, whatever. <laughs> Eventually, but right now I'm gonna call it. I can't. I can't just keep doing this. You have made it. Time for the doubles, and then it's over. So we slow down right before the flicks. So like there, it gets ready, and then the flick is fast, and then again. And then that flick should be speedy, which it is. And then it gets pretty big, like triples as the particles get ready to go up, and then doubles as they go up. And then the last one is on a one. And this is fire. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching. If you want this FLA, you can download it in the description. Uh, I guess this is an okay fire. You might even re-involve the source if you so choose. Um, you know, to give it some... I guess, uh, to make sense of why it's there. Uh, that doesn't seem quite right, though. There, that seems better and then get it a little handle why not I'm gonna do liquid next this is kinda iffy fire it's a little bit rushed but I mean the principles are all there geez where's the good brown what the heck there it is yeah okay and there I mean, not awful. It's a it's a very low <laughs> lifespan flame. Maybe you want to add some glow. Who knows? Not me, because I'm not you. But you can, and it's entirely your choice. And you can shade it if you want. You can add inner highlights and then add glows to that, and everything. Uh, it's all style choice. This is very simple fire. Hmm. Whatever. I'm Andrew Bepler. Thanks for watching. You have a you have a great day, but not like cheese graters because that would be very, very uncomfortable. You have a a a good day.